In their annual report, The State of Marketing Budgets in 2021, Gartner points out some troubling trends that made me raise my eyebrows. But let's start first with some background. Each year, Gartner runs a survey called the CMO Spend Survey, where they gather insights from global marketing leaders on their budgeting strategy. They've been doing this for the last seven years, so they have consistent data to build trends on. Here are the three highlights that I want to point out from this year's report. The first one is that CMOs increase their focus to performance marketing, specifically on social marketing, SEO, that is search engine optimization, and digital advertising. The latter means focus on video and display ads, and there's nothing unusual here. What I can add is that based on our data, a proper video content strategy still outperforms all the other digital channels in terms of short-term engagement and long-term value. We had cases this year when the video channels performed seven times better. However, video alone is not enough. So the increase in budgets for social media and search engine marketing make the circle complete. The second and third takeaways that I want to touch base on are interconnected and require a look at B2B and B2C trends separately. On the one hand, we see that B2C marketing leaders increase their spending on two key channels, that is digital advertising and SEO, and strongly decreased offline advertising. While on the other hand, we see something really strange. B2B marketers don't strictly follow their B2C counterparts. Some of the budget increases are in the same segments, but what is troubling is that 36% have decreased their display and video advertising budget. These are the top performing channels in B2C. So does that mean that B2B buyers don't watch more videos? Well, for those who don't have hands-on experience, it might look like that. But the reason is more complicated. So here are my two cents. Why is this happening? 2020 made a massive shift in terms of digital ad spend, but not everybody was successful. We saw that brands that started their digital brand development before COVID-19 managed to leverage the pandemic in terms of further digital growth. However, before global lockdowns were started, B2B marketers focus their activities on ABM, that is account-based marketing, and physical events. So with close to zero experience in digital branding, most B2B CMOs were forced to double down on something that they haven't really done as a primary activity. This resulted in the following. Without proper knowledge and data, they did everything on their plates and hope reaching the same success as B2C marketers did in 2020. But quite a few brands failed to do that. And honestly, they had false expectation to achieve similar results as those who were using digital before the pandemic. The more important issue is that 36% draw the wrong conclusion, thinking that these channels don't work for them. In case you are one of them, I want to help you out before it's too late. Here's my recommendation. Don't try to copy paste the strategy that others follow and succeed with. It won't work for you. By the way, I recently made a video why copy pasting doesn't work in digital transformation. You can check it here. So back to my reasoning. Instead of copy pasting, try to do two different things. Firstly, learn how a brand can start its digital journey in the current circumstances today. Starting today is not the same as it was three years ago. Secondly, it's important to lower your expectations as what you see others have achieved has most of the time at least five years of strategic work behind it. In case you're not sure if you're going the right direction, drop me a message on LinkedIn. Also, if you are interested in learning how to start today, subscribe here on YouTube or follow me on LinkedIn as I will soon talk more about this topic.